Hey guys, this is Maximum X Gamer. I'm bringing you this first look review video for Sleeping Dogs, which just recently got released in the UK. The game was announced in 2009 as True Crimes Hong Kong, the third installment of uh, the reboot True Crime series. As a result of the game's high development budget and delays, it was cancelled by Activision in 2011. It was announced that uh, Square Enix had picked it up and had the published rights for the game. But the uh, game was re-announced as Sleeping Dogs in 2012 as uh, Square Enix did not purchase the uh, True Crime name rights. The main character is called Wei Shang. He's a Chinese-American police officer and he's gone undercover to infiltrate Triad Gang. This is where the uh, story begins. Obviously things go awry and he has to escape. Like the way that the gameplay cuts from the CGI straight into the actual gameplay element. And it's X to run on a PS3 controller and you have to press X uh, to prompt the character to jump over items and react to the environment. And there's lots going on, you know, you can, you can make out the, uh, the water breaking against the uh, the shoreline, the rain, the wind elements and uh, I think it holds up really well on a PS3, the graphics are excellent. You can see the rain on the uh, the main character so there's lots of elements in there at play and on foot the player has the ability to walk, run, jump, climb over obstacles and swim. just about see the police are on my tail so if I stayed in one place for too long I'd get arrested. There is no annoying prompts, just a straightforward gameplay, the slow mo element which is synonymous with Hong Kong style. But the uh, CGI is excellent considering this is uh, it's been in development for quite a while. You know. Yeah, so the main character gets arrested. This leads in through to this couple of cutscenes, which I'm not going to go to. And then you have your first chance to actually go through in the open world environment. You're still following a storyline, so uh, you've got to follow your uh, high school friend, Jackie. But uh, yeah, the atmosphere is excellent. You know, there's always characters around, they're doing something, either smoking, shopkeepers, just people sitting around drinking. So th it is quite an excellent uh, Shamui uh, atmosphere. So if you like Hong Kong cinema and uh, all things Chinese or Cantonese, they do capture it really well here. This game is designed to play as an uh, over-the-shoulder third-person view and uh, you can, as I said, interact with the characters around you. The people that you can interact with, they have a little uh, icon over their heads, almost like a speech bubble. So you can either buy items from them or uh, speak to them. Hey, Jiu Mei, how are you, baby? Jackie, you know my parents don't want you to talk to me. Parents don't even know me. Once we get to know each other, they'll love me. Uh, leave him alone. I'm gonna call the cops. You don't have to talk to me. Hey, you don't talk to me like that. Stop it. Get off him. I don't care who you are. Let go of Jackie. I'm gonna fuck you up. The combat system is uh, like uh, the the system is very much a The combat system is very much a hand-to-hand fighting style and strongly influenced by the Batman franchise. Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Uh, it has a free-flowing system which includes on the PS3 controller. The square button is for, uh, depending on the amount of times you press it, for just straight attacks. The triangle is the counter-attack and the circle is the grapple. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, alright, come the fuck on! And you can use the grapple f to interact with uh, nearby elements and uh, this is highlighted by red. So uh, once I finish uh, kicking this guy, uh, basically once you grapple him, just body slam him into the shadows. Damn, way! What did they do to you in America, man? This leads me through to uh, another 
type of style where you have to react to a triangle just like like i said in batman you have to react to the environment around you and uh, this is the counteract so they highlighted in red and um, so if you if you do it right you can counteract their moves i found it a little bit cumbersome in the beginning but um now that i'm playing this footage is like i said from day one as soon as i just started playing so however now i've gotten quite used to it Shit gets real. you're gonna back down all right i'm gonna beat you and you're gonna take it wipe that smile off your face come on fight back so this brings me through to the environment again so this cutscene is basically your first uh, task where you have to follow Jackie and uh, perform some uh, tasks for uh, the main antagonist in the uh, game you have to approach sellers and uh, extort money from them to keep control of uh, the market. Hey little brother, we work for Winston. I understand. How can I help? Winston runs this place and if you don't want trouble, you pay him. Period. Of course, no problem. And obviously it progresses, so the first one just uh, straight away gives you the money, the second one says no and there's a person to fight. third one I think is like three people you've got to fight. So it's quite interesting and like I said, it's just the first look, the first element of uh, when I first started on the uh, level one, so I'm sure there is more varying uh, tasks. As you can see from the way I look, you know, I took a quite, quite a beating, so uh, you can always go to a vendor and buy yourself some food which recuperates your energy. So there is some elements of interaction with your environment and it just, the graphics look fantastic and as I said, this, this chap, you know, he doesn't want to play ball, so... We're collecting for Winston. Winston? The guy said he's in charge here. We're here to clarify that. What, you want to be the guy we use to clear up the confusion? I'm not afraid of you guys. I'm a shaky everywhere. And be a tough guy. I'm glad I can make you see reason. Take the money, but dog, I won't be happy. So another interesting element is uh, the fact that you can buy items to eat to recuperate your energy, but you can also buy uh, energy drinks to recuperate your fighting skills. So the amount of damage you would deal uh, depends on the amount of energy drink you have uh, on you. So there's also a separate meter for that. Thanks, bring your friends. Maybe we can have a party. So in this case, it's called the Dragon Kick recuperates the amount of energy you would uh, the amount of damage you would deal another element much like uh, saints row and uh, gta where you would buy your clothes the type of clothes you wear depends on standing within your gang so there's also a very much a rpg element with regards to the type of clothes you wear again just like saints row you used to get points for the amount of uh, gang affiliated clothes you would buy and in this case it's much the same but it's more the type of uh, street cred. Thanks! Shop often! Let's get back to Winston! Hey, Macho, hi, what's going on? Just keeping an eye on things. Yeah? What'd you see? I tell you what I didn't see. Nothing to be impressed about. I'm watching you, new guy. You fuck up? What? We're gonna throw down? What kind of grade school shit is this, huh? I work my ass off all day, so fuck off and grow up. Jackie! You're coming with me. We got something to take care of. I love the language used in the game. Uh, so obviously it's for mature audience. So yeah, the, uh, this is the kind of uh, experience points you get. You get either cop experience or you get the triad experience. And uh, obviously based on the level uh, it determines what kind of character you are. So in the open world you have these characters which have this yellow voice bubble over their heads and you can do 
menial tasks for them. In this case, he's just delivering some food. Can you do me a favor? Uh, probably, yeah. What is it? Mrs. Chu sent over some lunch, but I haven't paid yet. Can you take this back to the restaurant? All right. You might want to hurry. I heard dog guys are sending reinforcement. And you end up in a fight. The fight system actually gets harder and harder. You have to counteract. You have the triangle for the counteract, the square for the normal punch, the grapple for the interaction kills. Counteract is a really big part. Yeah, so during this actual fight, the background sound of the vendor was so annoying. So if you can get over that and ignore that, this was a pretty decent fight. So you get the extra points for the amount of moves you use, the type of moves you use. So yeah, overall, like I said, this was just my first initial impression of the game. I haven't gone too much into other elements. It's also able to uh, drive different vehicles, including uh, boats and uh, motorbikes. Uh, this is for Susan's lunch. Thanks. I hope you guys liked uh, this first look. This was recorded on my HD PVR Gaming Edition capturing device on the PS3. The atmosphere of this game is fantastic. First look is brilliant. Definitely worth a buy. Okay guys, so this is the time where uh, I remind you if you like this video, please leave uh, a thumbs up and any positive comments would be appreciated. Uh, also, if you haven't checked out my other videos, do so. And uh, if you are so inclined, please subscribe. This is Maximum X Gamer signing out.